If you're growing a YouTube channel and you're at this video, you probably already know that keyword research can be a very important factor behind the success of your channel. And for keyword research, there's a few different programs out there. There's vidIQ, there's keywordtool.io, which is a very simple keyword tool, and then there is TubeBuddy. But in using these programs, one thing I noticed was that they all generate wildly different amounts of estimated monthly search volume for the same keyword. So for example, in vidIQ, if we search for or look up the search volume for Apple Earbuds mic test, we can see they estimate the exact monthly search volume at 2209.5, 2209.5, we get some more information on it. Search volume is the average number of times people search for this exact keyword on YouTube each month. And then if we go to keywordtool.io and look at the same exact search query, they estimate a monthly search volume of 90 on the same basis. If we put hover over this question mark, search volume is the average number of times people search for this exact keyword per month. Okay, so it's on the same basis as vidIQ. And then TubeBuddy here, they kind of get a pass because they don't actually generate a number estimate. They just put it on this range of relativity here saying, you know, at the very high end, uh, very high end of green would be a lot of search volume very low end bottom of red would be like no search volume. You can see they just kind of put me on the low side of the middle rating here for this search query. So going back to vidIQ though, their estimate is like 25 times higher than what keywordtool.io is estimating. So keywordtool.io at 90, um, you know, where is vidIQ here at 2209? Extremely, extremely higher, extremely big range. It's a, just a huge range which one of these keyword tools is more accurate in their estimate of monthly search volume. Well, for that, what we can do is we can look at one of my own videos because I chose this keyword here, Apple Earbuds Mic Test, because this is a keyword that one of my own videos is ranking for organically. So if I pull up uh, the search query here in YouTube, you can see my own video in the number two spot. A couple days ago when I decided to make this video, actually, I was in the number one spot, but uh, must have been some bad juju. I got moved down to the number two spot. Either way, it doesn't matter. I am in the above the fold section of the YouTube rankings here. So we can use an estimated click-through rate to estimate the amount of search volume for this particular keyword. So let's do that. We can go into my video analytics. We can see that over the last 90 days, that video has gotten 4.4K 4 or 4,400 views, more specifically 4,426 views, right? So we can use that as our starting point. Down here, we can see that 97.4% comes from YouTube search, and then of that, 7.2 comes from Apple Earbuds mic test, that keyword. So we can get an estimate. We can say 4426, the total number of views, times 0.974, the amount that's coming from YouTube search is 4310. So I'm getting 4310 views in the last 90 days from YouTube search, and then multiply it by 7.2, uh, which is the amount that's coming from, the amount of traffic coming from that keyword. And that's going to show us that that keyword is getting us 310 views in 90 days. All right. Now, because this is 90 days, let's divide that number by three to put this on a monthly basis so that it's in line with the, you know, with estimates coming out of vidIQ and keywordtool.io. So we divide that by three, puts us at 103 views per month from that keyword. Now here, it's just a factor of multiplying by our estimated click-through rate. That is kind of an arbitrary number, right? We don't exactly know what the click-through rate is here on these videos, specifically from search. Based on my experience with search engine traffic, um, you know, I know that when the pages have heavy ads, they kind of go down to like a 25% click-through rate. When they have minimal ads, that click-through rate goes up to like 50. So, you know, if this search query is not generating any ads on top of it, which, you know, I, here it's not, but that's not to say that if for, you know, you logged in based on your browsing behavior that it's not going to generate any ads, it might. So I don't really know. Um, but let's just kind of use what I'd, I'd call a fair to conservative estimate of a click-through rate of 33% on my video here, right? So if we did that and multiplied it by 0.3333, that's going to get us an estimated, oops, I kind of messed that up. Um, I want to go divide that by 0.3333. That's going to put us back where we were, and then again, divided by 0.33. For that's, that's for my click-through rate. 
that's going to put it at an estimated monthly search volume for this keyword of 310. 310 monthly searches per month. And you'll see now this time, if I multiply it by our estimated click-through rate, so 310 people per month search this, and then we multiply it by 0.33, that means I'm getting 103 views, uh, which was the number we came up with for the amount of views coming from the search query. So anyways, based on all this math here, what we can estimate realistically for this search query is 310 searches per month. Now that varies a little bit from vidIQ, or that varies a lot from vidIQ at 2,209.5. It varies a good bit, but not as much from keywordtool.io. So with that in mind, I quite frankly think that keywordtool.io has a more realistic and more accurate estimate for estimated monthly search volume for the keyword that you're looking up, right? The, the number here, the keyword tool.io for estimate of search volume is spitting out, I think is more accurate based on what I can tell from the performance of my own video and an estimated click-through rate. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of point that out and show you guys that. Maybe some of you guys will find that helpful if you're using one of these keyword tools or trying to decide which keyword tool to use and plan some videos. So on that note, guys, if you are using a keyword tool, whether it's vidIQ, TubeBuddy, KeywordTool.io, or something else entirely, let me know which keyword tool you're using in the comments below and why. I look forward to hearing what you guys have to say on that. I'm signing off on this one.